Hello and welcome to the Nintendo Network and this is it. I did it! This is the last Pokemon Spirit Battle video. At least until I combine them all into one, or a new Pokemon rep is in Fighter Pass 2. My god, this franchise won't stop haunting me with these Spirit Battles. But for the time being, this is the final Pokemon Spirit Battle video. At least, like I said, until I combine them. So let's travel around the Gala region and wonder how it took them this long to add Kaiju Battles into Pokemon. This is every Pokemon Spirit Battle, the Galar region. The Zacian and Zamazenta Spirit is represented by Fox as Zacian and Wolf as Zamazenta. Fox will start the battle with a Killing Edge, a nod to Zacian being the Box Heart Legendary of Pokemon Sword, and Wolf will have a Back Shield equipped as Zamazenta, as he is the Box Heart Legendary for Pokemon Shield. In addition to this, Fox will be more aggressive and Wolf will be more defensive. You battle it out on Spear Pillar, nodding to the Legendary Pokemon frequently appearing there, and our Stage Hazards. Battle at the Summit Plays, a track from Pokemon Sun and Moon. The Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble Spirit is represented by Diddy Kong, Incineroar, and Squirtle respectively. Diddy Kong will start the battle with a Lipstick to act like Grookey's stick he will always run around with. These three are the starter Pokemon from Sword and Shield. You fight it out on Onet to act like Potswick, the starting town in the game and where you get your first Pokemon. At high damage, their attacks will increase a notch of their abilities Overgrow, Blaze, and Torrent, which increases their typing attack power when they've taken a certain amount of damage. Road to Viridian City plays from Pokemon Red and Blue. The Corviknight Spirit is represented by Ridley while on Gaara Plains. Once you defeat the regular Ridley, a giant Ridley will appear to act as Corviknight in his Gigantamax form. Gaara Plains is meant to be the wild area in Pokemon Sword and Shield, where you can raid and also find Corviknight in the wild. Ridley will favor air attacks and has increased jumping power, nodding to Corviknight being half flying type. The battle theme from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl plays. The Morpeko Spirit is represented by fellow adorable electric rodent Pikachu while on Boxing Ring. Boxing Ring is most likely used to represent the gym battles in Sword and Shield as they are all in stadiums where there is a crowd watching just like in this stage. Pikachu will metal shift during this match, a nod to Morpeko's Hangry Mode, which is a different form for the Pokemon where one of its attacks will change from electric type to dark type. Food items will also spawn commonly nodding to the Hangry Mode as well. Pikachu's electric attacks are buffed and he'll favor his special moves. The battle theme from Sun and Moon plays. And that is every Pokemon Spirit Battle from Galar. At least for now, I do feel a new Pokemon rep is coming to Smash Ultimate, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But that is the official end of every Pokemon Spirit Battles, chopping them into regions. It was a ton of fun to do it this way and I'll be implementing the process in the future for the Miscellaneous Spirits. For now, make sure to jump over to the Community tab. I have the next poll up for the next Spirit Battle. And if you want to watch every Pokemon Spirit Battle in one video, it will be coming very soon. Thank you for joining me here at the Nintendo Network. Which of these Spirit Battles was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, join my Discord, and consider helping out on Patreon. As always, this is the Nintendo Network, signing off.